Hello my strange and charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. In my last video, which was my plan like an entrepreneur installment on Sunday, um, I asked you guys to vote on what you wanted my next video to be, whether or not you wanted uh, what's on my iPhone or if you wanted a screencast tutorial on how to turn a standard PDF um, file into an insert for your A5. Um, so basically resizing a PDF so that it would go into your a5 binders okay so you guys voted for that overall so that's what I'm going to do first if you voted for the what's on my iPhone don't worry I'm going to do that soon as well um, but this is going to be the video for today and I would like to say that this was supposed to be up on Wednesday yesterday it is currently Thursday and I hope that this video goes up on Thursday um, but things have been like a teeny bit busy over here for me so I'm really sorry I'm very sorry that I'm not really ready I threw a little bit of makeup on and some lipstick but as you can see I'm a little bit more disheveled than I usually am on my videos so I'm a little I'm sorry about that really um, but I am trying to get this up for you guys so you guys have it because I know that it is going to be a really great resource and I think for some of you it's going to be a little bit of a game changer what you're going to be able to do now that you kind of see this tutorial now um, I am going to go ahead and move into the screencast soon and I'm going to take myself off the camera so you guys don't actually have to see me because I don't think you're, it's necessary for you to see me um, something you may notice in the video however is my new wallpaper um, that is a free download on my blog which I will of course leave the link down below where you guys can get it if you're interested in that. I have a desktop background, an iPhone or smartphone background, as well as a tablet background. So you feel free to grab those um, if you're interested and I'll leave a link down below. So without further ado, let me go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to need a PDF um, that is a full size PDF. So like an eight and a half by 11 PDF. I'm actually going to use this RAM dump PDF that um, I use. It's basically for doing like a download of your brain. It's basically an incompletions trigger list. If you've ever heard of that, um, I will leave down below a link to where you guys can get this because I've been asked about this one numerous times. I actually found this through a video that Carrie Harling did um, maybe last year um, and it's been really helpful for me. So um, I would love to have this in A5 size and put it into my A5 binder in my business binder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So as you see I'm actually using Adobe Reader I believe this is. Yeah Adobe Reader and let's Go ahead and look at the version too. This is version 11.0.10, I guess. So this is the version I'm using in case you guys have any questions. Now, I do not necessarily know how to do this in any other program, but Adobe Reader is a free download. So if you don't have this program, you can very easily get it offline for free and do the same thing. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do and go is go over to the print um, icon. And if you go down, you can see that there is options for page sizing and handling. And under there, there is an option for booklet. So we want to make this a booklet, right? Um, and it says booklet subset both sides, front side, back side. We're going to do both sides because I want all sides, um, both sides. I want this to be a double sided PDF that's printed out. Um, and the binding, your options are left, right, left, tall, and right, tall. I'm not exactly sure what the tall has to do with anything but I used the right last time and it worked perfectly um, orientation portrait landscape no portraits what we want um, I believe so that looks good to me um, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit print okay so I have printed that um, insert now we don't need to be in screencast anymore which is great everything else can be done face to face and now that eight page PDF has printed basically front and back on these two sheets of paper which is isn't that a wonderful saver of paper for you there um so what we're going to do right now is as you can see this was the this was the first page of the insert all i'm going to do right now is just go ahead and i'm going to put this in half um just go ahead and make sure that I've, i'm just basically creating a line because all i need to do right now um after i fold it in half is i just need to take this and based on where this line is, I'm really quickly just going to insert this into my Fiskars paper trimmer and line it up with where that um, 
where that fold is. Okay, so I've got it lined up in here where the fold is, and I'm just gonna cut that. I'm sorry that I'm not giving you guys like an aerial view, but it's it's pretty self-explanatory. I think you guys can get it. And so now I've got two piles, right? I've got the front and then the rest on the back, and I just wanna go through and make sure that this is in order, because basically the way that this should work, right? Yeah, so it looks like it's doing it right, um, is this should basically line up um, so that it's basically a booklet now, right? So all of these pages are in order when I put the cover page on top, okay? So I'm gonna put my paper trimmer away. Now I'm gonna grab my <laughs> A5 hole punch. This is actually an adjustable hole punch. I'm gonna make sure I've got it set to A5, I do. And what I'm going to do is take a look. I'm obviously going to punch this side so that it can go into my planner. This is the front page. And as you can see, when you do that binding on the right, it actually gives you more room on the left, which is great for punching holes, right? So you've got everything lined up for that. All I have to do is I just kind of eyeball this. It's pretty easy. Um, in my opinion, just eyeball it because it's a six hole punch. It doesn't have to be perfect. And there we go. Now I've got my holes in there. And let me grab my A5 business binder and put it in for you guys. Okay, so here's my A5, my turquoise domino. And I'm just going to take this into my business section in the back. Okay, just got, have this right here. I'm just going to open it up. And I'm inserting it. Here, I'll hold this up so you guys can kind of see. I know you guys, this is like so simple, and I know you guys always want to see every little detail, but I think you guys can get what I'm doing here. So here is the insert nail, and I can actually use this. It's actually just a few pages now, the full incompletion trigger list in my planner, which, and then there's the last page there. Isn't that super duper easy? So yeah, that is it for the tutorial guys. Hopefully this was so quick. Um, I hope that you guys liked this, enjoyed this. Um, and I hope that you guys have some, you know, PDFs that you'll able, you're going to be able to kind of just convert into, um, you know, little A5 inserts for your planner. One thing that you want to kind of watch out for, not really, it's not necessarily a watch out, but just something to be aware of is that obviously this doesn't fill the page a hundred percent. Um, it still gives a little bit of, um, space around the top and around the sides. Um, I don't know if maybe I'm, maybe there's a better way to print it. I don't know. Maybe I should mess around with the settings, but I think I did. And I think the way that we just printed it was, uh, was, um, probably the best fit for the space. I think I tried it before and things got cut off and whatnot, but now you guys know how to do it yourselves. So you will be able to print this as well. So I will leave the link to the incompletion trigger list down below, as well as a link to my blog. And just one more little reminder for you guys, because I feel like if I don't mention this enough and people miss it, they're going to get mad at me. Um, this is basically like the last week. Um, I'm trying to think when this is going up. Yeah, you basically have a week, a solid week, maybe a week and a half until the price goes up on Empire Building. So if you are trying to get into my Empire Building program and you want to get it at the lowest possible price, either the architect path or the blueprint path, because I am going to really be steadfast on that price. I'm not going to accept any emails from anyone next week once the price goes up saying, you know, the price was less last week. Can I get it for the, the cheaper price? The answer is going to be no, because I've given you guys so much warning for for it. So um, yeah, another week or so on the lower price, but it's going to be ending you guys. And so um, make sure you sign up now if you want to get and the best price Empire Building is ever going to be ever. I can guarantee it's going to be the best price ever. So I will leave that top link down in the description box. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. If you liked this video, I know it was a short, quick tutorial. Hopefully that's the way you guys like it. Um, make sure you give me a like. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe for more awesome videos by me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!